So in this lecture 9, I will talk about uh, firstly the debugging method and secondly the ADL array. Not a sorry ADC array, alright, analog to digital converter array. Alright, this one will have will, will take a bit time, but the debugging issue will will settle it with reading this video. Alright, so ADC uh, array will will do it in, in the subsequent um, videos to come. Alright, so let's let's just start off with um, the debugging issue. Alright, therefore in this PDF we'll talk about only these two parts, the debugging issues. Alright. So um the monitor itself you do still remember is the serial monitor. Alright, the serial dot begin, alright, is that you you set things up, alright, you, you set the begin if it's uh the begin means that um you set the beat rate, the beat per second, so it's like a bulk rate they say. Okay. So normally we, we write in it as nine thousand six hundred bits per second. So it can process 9600 bits per second. So zero dot begin it depends on what. So therefore you can write inside the bracket as 9600 or anything 300 times 2 to the power of n numbers. Alright, the n you can settle yourself. Alright, but nonetheless uh, this is something that you need to understand. And then zero dot print is that you're gonna print, print, print something. For example, if I were to zero dot print A, alright, or A, B, C, Alright then if I have a second line of zero dot print, for example over here I print A B C over the, the second line I print D E F, alright, I'll print it all together as one line. Alright, if zero dot print line, this means that if, for example if I were to print line one, two, three, you actually print in the new line instead of beside. Alright, so the print line tells you that you're gonna print and start a new line. Alright, so you're gonna print in the new line. Alright, that's that's just the meaning of that. So zero dot print print everything in 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 one straight in one straight line, all right. While zero dot print line, all right, print in the next line, okay. So you print the next line in the next line in the next line, all right. So these are the things that you may need need to take note of. All right. So after knowing your 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 zero dot print and everything, all right. So this is just uh, some some simplified stuff. Is that uh you're gonna print hello one hello two hello three all the way to hello wherever you want. Alright, so you'll go all the way down, alright, and that in so in order to write this code, you initialize i is equals to zero first from the global. So this is a global uh, initialization, alright. After that, your void setup already. Uh, in, inside the void setup, you set up zero dot begin as a uh, the bits per second, alright. So there is one hundred and one one five two zero zero bits per second. So which is a very fast system, okay. And over here is the the loop. So within the loop itself, you you start to uh, create a loop to to print hello. Alright, so you zero dot print. Um, so I um, DEC. Before I go into the next part, I just jump into here first. Alright, before I go into the the next section of this sentence. Alright, I don't know where I stopped just now. I actually zero dot print right. So I want to explain to you the zero dot print again because I think I have explained to you wrongly. So zero dot print, for example, if you zero dot print A B C, alright, you output A B C. The next line, if you zero dot print, you output D E F, as I say, alright. Zero dot print line will up will output K K K in the same line, alright, and it starts a new line. Alright, so when the next time you zero dot print, you straight away say one two three. You see, so at first this this portion over here is about this zero dot print line tells you that this is the last sentence you're gonna put in within this particular line, and the next line you and you'll start a new line for the next zero dot print. All right, so if I were to write in take instead of zero dot print, I'll write zero. Maybe I should. Uh, so for example, if I were to zero dot print four five six, all right, I'll zero dot print four five six over here. Okay, and then if I were to have another zero dot print, uh, maybe seven eight nine, you still print within here. Okay, so if happen that if I were to instead of changing instead of having zero dot print four five six, I just write as zero dot print line four five six. I just write zero dot print line four five six. Alright, it will print over here, and it will start the new line. Alright. And over this new line, it will zero dot print seven eight nine. All right, you see the difference, okay? 
So without this this uh, zero dot print, for example, if I were to write zero zero dot print, all right, then the next line zero dot print seven eight nine will actually appear to be here. Okay. You see, so if I were to write a, a zero dot print line over over here, all right, your seven eight nine will actually move to here. All right. So the zero dot print line tells you that you're gonna print the gonna tell you that you're gonna print this as the last part of your sentence and you'll start a new new line for other stuff. Okay? So therefore I, I shall head back to here. So this zero dot print over here print the word hello. Alright? And then zero dot print line alright will print the, the the values that you put. If it's one, then it's one. D E C tells you that it's a decimal. Alright, it tells you that it is a decimal or base tenth. Alright, so if you type in zero dot print seventy eight decimal, you will give you seventy eight value, the numbers. If you type zero dot print seventy eight org, you give you one one six because it actually give you the the org is actually octo or base eight. So the base eight give you one one six. Alright, so you type in bin, you give you the binary. If you type in org, it give you base eight. If you type in decimal, it give you um, base 10 things like that if you're dying hex it gives you the hexagon numbers all right so over here please remember when you zero dot print all right you're gonna also zero dot print uh, the numbers the numbers you have you you want all right and in terms of the decimal all right in terms of the the base 10 or whatever thing that you're talking about all right so over here if it's one then you you you'll, you'll say hello one and you'll print a new line so over here because zero dot print line ma. so after so this print line tells you that this is the last the last value you put in and you start a new line so once you start a new line you will delay for about 1000 millisecond all right to print the thing and then you you i equals to i plus one so you add in the ne next next value of i and you loop all right so the next value of i will print in the new line hello all right which is this this one already a new one and then you'll print the second i which is two in, in terms of a decimal so it's hello too so you keep on printing and printing and printing and printing all the way all right until you're very happy so this is the the simple loop I'm going so on so many things and you may wonder uh, i haven't go into the debugging all right because we're gonna use the serial port to debug all right if you still remember you use a serial monitor to print to print out all these values so therefore the serial monitor is actually used for for debugging also so for example you have a certain code over here all right so in order to check whether is your is your is your code wrong, all right? You're gonna initialize. You're gonna write write your own codes over here. This code tells you that uh, if the this is the function initialize button press, all right? The function doesn't have any semicolon as you can see. It's it's a small semicolon. It's this one. So do you see anything over here? No, right? So therefore, this is a function straight away. You know already, all right? So you initialize a function called the button pressed. All right, and within this particular function, you open out this bracket, and then you you set the you initialize button setting is equals to digital read button pin. So you read the pin that you want, and if the button setting is equals to one, all right, then this tells you then this will return, because initialize always tag on to a return. All right, if it's void, then if it's void is over here, all right, then you you won't have any return over here. Alright, so if it's a void, you do not, you cannot return anything. Alright, if it's initialized, then you can return. So if the button is equals to one, then you return stating that it is zero. Alright, so if the button is one, which is, uh, being pressed, alright, then you feedback telling the the system that it is the button has been pressed. Alright, because it's the active, active low system. Alright, so active low system means that. For example, this is the Arduino. This is your 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 device. All right. So you constantly supply uh uh um act, uh active pull out. All right. I think pull out lah. All right. You call this the pull out. All right. Input pull out. So over here, pull out means that you always supply a one uh, a logic of one to to your device until when you when you press the button. If a button over here will press, this one will become zero telling because so the button over here will have ground so the everything will goes to the ground 
So this this will feedback to Arduino that okay, we are, someone somebody have actually pressed on the button. So feedback to you that there is a zero. Alright, so this tells you that the button so zero tells you that the button has been pressed. And this method is called the active low. Alright, because um it is active when you are low, right? It's active when Arduino reads it as low. Alright. So else, alright, if the button is not pressed, alright, then you return one, which is always um high. Alright, until you press the button again. Alright, this is alright for the code. Alright, but if you want to read the state of the code, you can actually write a zero dot print as you can see. Where am I? Yeah. You can actually write a zero dot print where you can print out the button setting, whether is it one or is it zero. So you know whether is it is it uh the is the button pressed or not. Alright. And you you can also see whether is the is the button working or not. Alright, so you can actually check your your button whether is it working or not. So you zero dot print your button setting. Alright, your print line, uh, the button setting in terms of a decimal, decimal, decimal value. Alright, so what it writes is actually this 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 thing this line over here is just stating that, uh, if you were to print it out, it's button setting. Alright, something like this. Alright, and over here is printing what you want to see. So if it's one, then you print one. If it's zero, you print zero. That's all. Alright, so this is the this red color one is 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 the print out, uh. Your staff telling you that uh, is the button press or not. So this thing over here helps you to debug whether is the button press. So if happen that your button spoil when you press, it still look it is still equals to one. Then something is wrong with your button. Then you know how to debug. As you can see, you, if it isn't changing as expected, you know, when you press the button, it isn't changing. Then maybe you haven't connected your button properly to the correct pin. So you need to actually check. Alright. So this is this is the thing lah. And often this this method is not a very elegant way, alright. It's not the most elegant way, but it is simple and often very effective. So normally we we'll, we we'll use this method to actually debug, alright. So it's advisable if you were to use this method to debug, um, debug your stuff, alright. For so you can zero dot print your to a monitor so that you can know whether do you so that you can debug your system lah, alright. But please remember that delete your print statement afterwards. So you have to delete away. This this red color one. Once you finish debugging and everything, alright. So there is other more advanced debuggers that exist, alright. That helps you see the code line by line, alright. One example is called the Uno uh, Ardu Sim, which is a uh, Arduino Uno simulator. So it's like a simulator you can download and then you put in your code and your the and the simulator will tell you which part of the code is wrong and things like that, alright. And so therefore this give you the the overall understanding for. For this part, alright, using your monitor, serial monitor to actually debug your stuff, okay. So I shall see you in in the next video for for data logging. So see you there.